Chicago Fed President Austin Goolsbee making remarks on the economy. Let's get to Steve Leisman with the key headlines, Steve. Kelly, thanks. Yeah, uh, new Chicago Fed President Austin Goolsby, who just recently took office, making some of his first comments on the economy and monetary policy and the recent banking problems, saying the Fed should take financial stress into account when setting monetary policy. Uh, Goolsby, who's a voter this year, will say uh, that the right monetary approach calls for prudence and patience. Financial tightening, he says, caused by banking problems could mean that monetary policy has less to do. He goes on to cite private sector analyses that show financial stress could be the equivalent of 25 to 75 basis points of tightening from the Federal Reserve. Financial stress can have a material impact on the real economy, uh, Goolsby says in his speech, and workers, businesses, consumers will su can suffer immense harm if, if these banking problems turn into a financial crisis. He says the Fed needs to be on the watch for the real possibility of tighter credit conditions. Now, it doesn't seem like he's completely saying the Fed shouldn't hike rates. So take a look at this quote here. Given how uncertainty abounds about where these financial headwinds are going, I think we need to be cautious. We should gather further data and be careful about raising rates too aggressively until we see how much work the headwinds are doing for us in getting down inflation. So he, aggressive is maybe the key there, maybe not. He says the main way to handle financial stress should be supervisory and regulatory tools that the Fed has. Situation is better, he says, in the great financial crisis because of banking reforms and higher capital and liquidity ratios. He also says that uh, times of financial stress are a terrible time to uh, um, uh, default on the nation's debt during periods of financial stress. So Kelly, not a slam dunk. I have to say he's probably one of the most dovish comments yet, or uh, maybe not quite alarmist, but concerned comments yet about the recent banking problems leading to financial stress, and maybe one of the first uh, Fed speakers really to link it very closely to what should be done with monetary policy. Steve, that jumped out to me as well. I was just looking to the markets for any reaction. Dow is still kind of unchanged around that plus 150 point of view. But would you contrast this also with what we heard from Williams, where I've, I've definitely seen some reaction to that, where he seemed to downplay that somewhat. And uh, people were kind of surprised. And here, Goolsby does seem to be making a more um, logical, you might say, argument. Well, here's the thing. I, I guess I'd describe it this way. The visual thing. Williams has sort of an arm's length distance with the financial uh, problems we've had. He says, well, they're sort of over there. We need to watch them. But my initial reaction is it's not really a very big problem. Um, of course, you did see that big decline in lending uh, that we got in the uh, Fed's report Friday afternoon. Uh, lending remains relatively high before, compared to before the pandemic, but it was one of the biggest two-week declines or one week, uh, two weeks declines that we've had since 2009 on a percentage basis. Uh, Goolsby seems to feel that financial stress is a little closer, a little more worried about it, and a little more likely to say it, 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 will, it could have an effect on monetary policy. Yeah. I, I can't read this, what he's saying, Kelly, and say, he would vote against a rate hike. He is, of course, a voter at the May meeting right here. But I guess if, if we see continued weeks of banking uh, a pullback, uh, banks pulling back in lending, um, as well as some attenuation in the uh, inflation rate, uh, it sounds like Austin may be one of those people who would who could be convinced not to vote for a rate hike uh, at the May meeting. Yeah, well said. Steve, thanks for bringing that to us. We appreciate it. Steve Leisman and again, Dow hanging on to its gains.